my name is Liam Overett. I'm a fourth year bioengineering student. I'm a project engineer as part of the AMRC in the design and prototyping group. So within the design and prototyping group at AMRC, there's uh, just under 40 engineers, uh, a diverse range of skills, mechanical engineers, software engineers, electronics engineers, uh, working across all different sectors from manufacturing to healthcare. Uh, one project I've been involved in is creating a smart laparoscopic tool for use in a digital operating theatre, so it's uh, all IoT enabled. Uh, another project that I've been involved in is in pushing a strand through titanium as it's being printed, a 3D printed titanium part. The latest project that I've been involved in is uh, over with Nuclear AMRC. Um, it is an IoT enabled uh, smart fixture for tracking uh, this part as it's uh, going through its life through the factory. So Liam has been heavily involved in a, uh, a very exciting project that we're working on called the Digital Operating Theatre. And he's been instrumental really in developing some of the technology that's going within that theatre and uh, pretty much single-handedly delivered some of the work packages within that project. So as a bioengineer, I saw that the design and prototyping group had the medical AMRC as part of it. Um, I wanted to be involved in medical projects, so I emailed the head of the design and prototyping group, uh, got an email back inviting me in for an interview. Uh, I interviewed with him and uh, my line manager and uh, secured the job back. Liam's background is kind of possibly different to the other engineers in my group. Uh, we're kind of very software and industrial electronics based. Um, Liam came in with a biomechanical background, which has been very useful. Uh, he's kind of contributed at really the highest levels within the team and, uh, and yeah, it's been very successful. So the projects I've enjoyed the most is making the smart uh, laparoscopic tool. It's because I got to work upstairs with some of the mechanical engineers uh, who designed the physical shell of the tool, um, but I was left completely uh, independent on doing all of the things inside. I got to choose the microcontroller, I got to choose what sensors are in it, I got to wire it up how I wanted. Other project that I enjoyed the most was working on that um, additive manufacturing titanium research project. Uh, that's because it was all, again, completely new. It wasn't IoT related, it had some troubles of its own. Um, but also because when it did work, it's the first time that it's worked in the world and being a part of that is fantastic feeling. So working here, I have learnt how to um, program better. I've gone a bit more in depth into Python. Um, I've also programmed a lot of Arduinos or, or microcontrollers using the Arduino IDE, the Arduino programming language. So based on Liam's performance really with his year in industry, we've decided to sponsor him for his final year project, uh, which again will form part of our digital theatre project. So yeah, pretty much from, from day one Liam came in and um, kind of was a, a very sociable individual, so kind of quickly bonded with the team, both professionally and socially. Uh, I am quite surprised with how well I have fitted in here, not because of me, but because they could quite easily just see me as another intern, I will come and go, whereas instead it feels like I'm a very core member of this um, team. Uh, to someone thinking of doing your industry, I'd say to do it um, because you get a wealth of experience, uh, you get to explore different parts of the field that you are in, you get, to, you get paid, which is always good, and you get to decide whether this is actually something you want to do or if you want to adapt your career path for, before you fi finish your degree. I believe um, students get a really valuable uh, set of knowledge out of working on a placement and really get an opportunity to understand what it's like working in a professional uh, environment with, uh, with professionals. You get industry experience, as cliche as that sounds, it's, it's a lot different from academia, it's more like the end product focus rather than you focused, whereas university seems to be, you get a grade out at the end of it, with industry it's you are making a product. My top tips are to throw yourself in wholeheartedly, to not worry if you don't know everything that you think you should know. In my experiences they've helped me uh, and they've taught me the skills that I do need to know and to get out of it as much as you can.